All right, what's up, my people? Let's get back to wrapping up this portfolio website that we have been working on now for the last two or three videos. Um, basically, today I'm going to add the about page, which is just going to be um, a little bit of text with a picture of myself. Then we'll update the portfolio, and we will make sure that the contact form is installed on the contact page. And I think that's really going to wrap it up for us. Um, Again, this isn't the most aesthetic. We can always plug in a different template or theme. Um, we can always go in and redesign a few pieces if we need to. However, this is uh, going to get us started with at least what the core um, WordPress 2021 theme in involves. So let's go back to our, uh, I just did an update on a few plugins. Okay, so posts, that's where we would have a blog. Maybe I will include that in the next video. However, right now we don't have that. So let's go to the About Us page. What I want to do is I want to take this content here from the home page that was basically about Steve. I'm just going to add this information here to the About Us page. Um, introduce yourself or your work, whatever, whatever. We'll just paste in that right in there. From here, I'm going to add a new block. So let's go back, add block. This one, we are going to be adding an image and let's upload this from our sites and i'm going to use this picture of myself pretty fancy picture took a long time ago <laughs> and let's just say steve mingo co get my name in there one more time it's always good professional webmaster published that and that's basically our About Us page. I'm not going to do too much more. It, it gives me the information that we need. Um, I can always go in there and change it. But for now, this is all I'm going to put on that page. So let's go to the portfolio page. This page is going to be a little bit more work. I have several images. Heck, if I wanted to really fill up my portfolio, I worked on almost 200 corporate level websites but um in this case we'll use a gallery and why don't we just go to our gallery upload and let me see if i have a portfolio so here's a full folder of about six different projects um that i've worked on previously in my life and we're just going to load up those six and steve mingle co portfolio gallery add that there let's update this and we'll go back and let's take a look at how that kind of lays out so here we have our four or five images you know I don't know if I really like that gallery I can plug in a third party plugin that would um, allow me some more functionality like I wish that these would open and they're a little bit too small so unfortunately i'm not super happy with this um gallery but we are able to you know make a few adjustments here so we can go full size medium columns three we can break it into four we can make them a little bit bigger so that's four why don't we do two that'll look a little bit um larger and we're not going to link anything not going to be updating any of that so let's just go back and let's update that publish that for our portfolio and basically as you can see now we have our four six portfolio projects um you know i, I will probably go back later and obviously i'm going to update the design and stuff i'm just trying to show you guys the functionality of this theme but um we could definitely uh, put in a third party. I use, uh, what is it? There, if you go to plugins and you actually search, there's a third party plugin, which is gallery. I think it's next. Uh, add new. And let's put image gallery. I actually have a video on this plugin as well but it's, it gives, provides a lot more uh, functionality than what this core so let's see is it 
uh, this one, WordPress Gallery Plugin Next Gen Gallery. So if I actually install that, I can go back and plug this in and use a little bit uh, better looking portfolio. Now, I'm not going to go through that in this video. I'll put a link to that video below if you do want to use this third party uh, Next Gen Gallery. And once it's activated, you'll see it actually over here. But again, I'm just going to go through this because this is the core WordPress theme and that's what this tutorial is on. So going to the final part here, we have the contact us page. You know, one thing else I did want to do on the portfolio is just add this little bit of content that I have made for the page. So let's go back to edit page. Oh, what happened here? Let's see if I can refresh that. Well, I'll, okay, so here's the next gen. Getting too many things going on here. Why did that page fail? So here we are, we're back in. We're going to add a text block, a paragraph, and we're going to just put browse Steve Mingle Co. Bring that up there and save that here. And there's my girlfriend walking into the back. It's okay. Um, so going from there, we have our update done. We will go to the contact page and we will finish this final page. So let's go back to WordPress, contact. Um, okay, so now I want to get to the front end of the site, which I'll just open up one more tab. And go to the contact. And I do want to add this content. So we'll go back to contact and we will edit this. And basically we're just going to change this text as well. Uh, go to update and then we'll add one more form here. Contact form seven and contact form. So basically now we have the same contact form that we found on our home page. So let's open this in another new tab. And you can see our contact page. So there's that and this will all send, you know, as you type it in uh, and click submit. A uh, good idea too is to put a captcha. So I think I got a few more minutes. What I'm going to do real quick is just show you guys how to add the blog. If I do want to have a blog page because WordPress is really powerful with the built-in blog feature blog feature. So basically all I'm going to do is as you can see here we have this page already created. It's called blog and that'll be set up too when you install your WordPress. So going back to appearance and menus, we will be able to add the blog page. So posts um blog add to menu and now we will see when we save this that we have a blog page added as well so blog and now what this is doing is it's pulling these content posts which say every day I want to put a video or tie my videos like this onto my website um, it'll also update this section here where it says hello world so we're just going to I'm going to quickly show you show you how you can actually update those. So if you go to posts, these are basically just your blogs. So let's just call this blog, uh, blog one. Um, this blog post will show you how to develop your own portfolio website. All right, so that's done. Um, and I can go in there, add a video. You know, you can, it's just the same thing. I can go in here, add the video, add a gallery of different images, uh, add a cover, whatever I want to do. But what you'll see now on the front end of the site as I clean that out is that basically now we have our blog and it's titled Blog One. It was published uh, December 11th, I think, is the day that I installed this theme. So blog one will show up here and if I want I can always go back now to the back end and add a second blog you know maybe update one a week one every two weeks go to all posts why don't we just add a new one right now so we'll go to uh, blog two 
this is this uh, blog post will show you how to set up uh, WordPress installation. And with that, guys, I think my screen froze, so I'm going to cut it at that because let's see if I can. I'm not exactly sure why QuickTime does that, but it does. So here I'm back. Uh, I don't want to have to redo that whole thing just for that. Um, but what you'll see, this will be. Oh, and now, of course, I got to make sure that I float on top so I don't get lost. How to set up a WordPress blog on your WordPress website. So guys, uh, that's the wrap up. This is our, our, our finished product here. So just to review, we got our homepage with our certificates and stuff. I might even add a certificates page. I think that's a pretty cool idea. We have our about page, which kind of shows a little bit about me. We have our portfolio, which has uh, six projects here that we've worked on. We have our blog, which obviously we don't have full content yet, but we can always build it out. Um, that's something you kind of build over time. And then we have our contact form so people can get a hold of me. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like, a subscribe. That stuff really helps. And uh, stay tuned. More videos coming at you uh, every day. Peace.